Hi, it's Mr. Leong, and uh, in this video, we're going to look at topic 1.2, uh, the language of variation variables. All right, we have two learning objectives. Um, the first is to identify variables in a set of data, um, and you'll soon see how we present data. Um, and then the second is to classify um, the different types of variables, and there's two uh, main types that we look at in AP Stats. <clears throat> All right, so what's a variable? Um, so you've all taken algebra before and you're familiar with, uh, say, x and y. And, uh, you know, usually we have an equation that involves a variable and then we're given a value for that variable. Right? That, that value doesn't change or it could change. Okay. Uh, but in statistics, um, variables are characteristics um, that change from one individual to another. So in the last video, we you know, were looking at things like the age of dogs that live on a certain street um, or uh, the temperature of a specific place and time, um, or whether or not somebody likes watermelon. So those are all characteristics that change depending on the individual you, you measure or record. <clears throat> right. So the two types of variables that we're going to focus on in AP Stats, um, the first is categorical variables, um, and these uh, take on uh, either some categor category name or a group label. So some examples, uh, dominant hand, um, we would use the labels left and right. Um, age group could be categorized as young or old. Um, highest degree, um, high school, bachelor's, master's, doctorate. Uh, so categorical variables are generally recorded using text, using words. Um, quantitative variables, uh, these are things that we record with numbers um, because numbers come from measuring or counting things. Okay, so the age of a structure, um, you know, five years, 10 years, 100 years old, uh, height of a child, uh, three feet, four feet, four and a half feet tall, uh, concentration of a sample, you know, two parts per million, seven parts per million. All right. So quantitative variables are recorded with numbers. Uh, categorical variables are recorded with text. Um, and then oftentimes if, if the number is a measurement, um, there should be units, right? So age uh, units could be years, height could be inches or feet, um, or, you know, in other parts of the world, centimeters. Um, concentration of a sample, I use parts per million, but maybe milligrams per deciliter or, you know, some other type of unit. But generally, if it's a measurement, there will be some units uh, associated with it. <clears throat> so here is how we often organize data in a table. So I, I got this data from a website called Census at School, um, and it's just a sample of, I think, 10 students um, where we record a bunch of information about them. Okay. Um, so the first thing is that every row in this table uh, represents a different individual, right? So there's 10 rows, which means I have data on 10 students. And then every column represents a different variable, a different characteristic, um, that we recorded about these students. Um, and so I believe there are 10 columns and you can see there's a header at each, at the top of each column, letting us know what that characteristic or, or variable is. Um, so using the definitions on the previous slide, we're gonna go ahead and categorize these 10 variables as either categorical or quantitative. Okay. All right, so region uh, we can see is being recorded with text. So that's gonna be Categorical. Gender also is recorded with text. Categorical. Um, age is recorded with numbers, so that's quantitative. And in case you want to know the units, it's after the underscore, um, it's measured in years. Okay. Uh, handed refers to a student's dominant hand. I see text in that column, um, so that's going to be categorical. Height, uh, I see a bunch of numbers in that column, so I understand those are measurements, so that's quantitative. Foot length, again, those are numbers, measurements. Same thing with arm span. <clears throat> um, and all these, uh, they, get, they got cut off at the top, but they're all measured in centimeters. Okay, sometimes you may be given a data set like this where you're unsure of the units. Um, and so you just have to ask yourself, well, what makes sense? Would it make sense for uh, a 10-year-old student to have a 20-inch long foot? or a 20 centimeter long foot or 20 millimeters, right? 
So sometimes you have to just, you know, use a little common sense to figure out what the units are in case um, it's not given to you. Okay, um, languages is recording how many languages the student can speak. Um, so this student speaks one language, but the next one's bilingual, and there's a student that speaks three languages. <clears throat> okay. um, but again, this is numbers that we're recording with, um, and so that's going to be quantitative. Um, this variable traveled to and then it got cut off. Um, I think it's their mode of transportation to school. Um, and so I see text there. Uh, and so that's going to be categorical. And the last one is travel time. Um, it's numbers. I'm going to assume that its units are minutes. Um, and so that's going to be a quantitative variable. Okay. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, a lot of times you can identify categorical variables just by seeing that it's recorded with text and quantitative variables you can notice because they're recorded with numbers. Um, that's not true a hundred percent of the time. Uh, for instance, we could record um, a zip code, right? What zip code do these students live in? And those would be numbers, but we probably wouldn't want to treat that as quantitative data, right? We wouldn't want to average a bunch of zip codes because that average wouldn't make any sense, right? Or like, you know, every student uh, is assigned an ID number or social security number or some kind of identifier number. Um, and everyone's number is different, right? Like if you compare your ID number, your, your heritage high school ID number with somebody else's, no two are alike. Um, and just because somebody's ID number is larger than somebody else's ID number, does that mean that student has more value than the other? Probably not. Um, so there are special scenarios where we record something with a number, but it's not really quantitative. Um, one last thing I want to mention is, again, how we would analyze or summarize these different variables. <clears throat> so often uh, categorical variables, we would summarize with a proportion, right? Like we might want to know what proportion of students um, reside on the West Coast um, or what proportion of students in our data set are female. Um, quantitative variables we often summarize with an average, right? So we could ask a question, a statistical question, you know, what is the average age of students in my sample? Or what is the average height? Or what is the average time it takes them to get to school? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just something to look forward to um, is that we have these two types of variables, but we're going to summarize or analyze them differently depending on whether they're categorical or quantitative.